December of 2021, after a long two-year process, I was finally diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, or ADHD. I'm not a doctor or specialist on ADHD. I'm just a 16-year-old kid who just so happens to like the sound of her own voice. <laughs> Everyone has different experiences with ADHD. And I've learned through my own personal experiences over the years to change my perspective on my ADHD from a learning disability to my own superpower. In grade 11 this year, I found that completing assignments on time became increasingly difficult in subjects that I did not enjoy. While it may seem obvious, it, became, it got to the point where I was five assignments behind and catching up seemed impossible. Tests became frightening because I was unprepared and the whole se thing seemed to spiral downwards, making me feel unworthy, unprepared, and depressed. Why could I only perform well in subjects that I enjoyed, despite knowing the importance of the others? Part of the reason could be due to passion and motivation. When passion and motivation are aligned, it can lead to hyperfixation. Hyperfixation, when healthily motivated, is one of the strongest superpowers of ADHD. One of my personal hyperfixations that has lasted for years on end is my love for art. My love for art has lasted since I was probably just a child. And it is a way to ground myself and express my feelings when words cannot. When you know what you're doing is not working, when motivation and passion are lacking, you need to be the one to change it. There are a few steps that can help you succeed, and these include educating yourself about ADHD, communicating with parents, teachers, counselors, anyone you need, learning how to pers personally work with your ADHD, everyone is different, give yourself every possible tool and find what works best for you. Promoting mental health and casting off the negative stigma surrounding mental health. Being loud and proud when advocating for yourself. Never be shameful of something that you were born with. These steps are important because it means that you are advocating for yourself. When you advocate for yourself, not only are you proving to yourself and others that you want to change, but it allows you to grow personally. You can only conquer ADHD if you want to. Untreated ADHD takes a toll on one's mental health. It is connected to anxiety and depression, both of which I struggle with. I, found my, I kept telling myself that if I could not do the simple task given to me, then why even bother? I was destined to be a failure regardless. I was having panic attacks in class over tests and public presentations. Yet here I am, standing in front of you all, doing a TED Talk. <laughs> The question is, what happened? <laughs> I decided that enough was enough. I reached out and I got the help that I knew I needed because if I knew I'd, if I did nothing, I would not be around for much longer. I took the steps, I got the tools, and I finally managed to advocate for myself. And finally, after so long, I started to see the positives of my ADHD. My kindness, my passion, my need to help others, my art, all these things shaped who I was. ADHD is not a bad thing. It's how my brain works, not a criminal record. I need extra tools to get the job done, but I promise you that I will do the job just as good, if not better, than anyone else you give it to, because it is not a job, just a job. It is proof to me that I am worth it. I'm, AD I'm using my ADHD to my advantage to share my story to share it with thousands of kids that could be like me and tell them to advocate themselves, to reach for the victory that every person on this earth deserves and to take it with pride. This is not a cry for help, far from it. My ADHD, my superpower, drives who I am. Just a 16-year-old kid who just so happens to like the sound of their own voice and has a reason to talk. Thank you. <laughs>